be here today. My name is Ola Tunji Taiwo. I go by Tunji for short. Um, and um, I'm based here in Houston, Texas, uh, United States. Um, and um, I currently work for JP Morgan Chase. And um, I'm an executive director here and I function as a security architect. Um, I've been in cybersecurity uh, about two decades now and um, enjoying every moment of it. Oh, that's a very easy question. Um, so when I started um, thinking about uh, pursuing a career in cybersecurity, um, the first thing that I needed to do was understand my path. Um, so as I was mapping out my path for how to have a long and successful uh, career, um, I started doing some research on what programs were available um, to get um, someone at an entry level college graduate into the field of cybersecurity. Um, in the process, I stumbled upon EC Council's um, career path and maps, and CH came up organically for me. So I've always been curious about offensive security, you know, how to think like a bad guy or an hacker, so you can basically have better defensive either um, controls or design to combat cybercrime. So that was what caught my eye. And back then, you know, the ideal thing was just to go right into it. Um, and that's how my journey started. Oh, well, so um, I've had kind of a very good successful career up till now and I'm still looking forward to the journey continuing. Uh, as far as benefits from CA, so when I did speak for the exam, what I was trying to achieve was have a clear understanding uh, around you know, common terminology, taxonomy, as well as tactics and techniques that um, hackers employ in, you know, basically uh, breaching organizations or businesses in general. So one of the benefits of CH is the way that the exam and the program is structured is it walks you sequentially through the life cycle of an attack, uh, which is a very easy thing to follow. So step-by-step -step procedures into how you start a journey if you're going to meet an object objective and then walking you through each structured process and procedures uh, that allows you to have a good understanding as well as tooling to automate the process. Um, so that has helped me significantly in, uh, right now I lead uh, large teams in, in, within my current organization and uh, we do a lot of threat analysis, a lot of uh, risk assessment. Um, so this helps educate not just the, the practitioners but also the business leaders in basically understanding what risk means how to be risk informed in building um, and establishing new product lines and how those products are delivered in forms of services to clients at a global scale. Um, it also has helped me in a situation where, you know, people come and ask questions around, look, I don't know much about cybersecurity and I want to know where to start. Um, it has been very beneficial by leaning on some of the resources that EC Council has provided on the portal on the website to be able to share some journals and some reading material with different types of business clients and colleagues in the industry. So overall, it's been a very, very beneficial uh, program, uh, both professionally and also personally for me. Okay, my general line of sight into uh, first starting with the industry is um, CEH is widely recognized as one of the, um, I wouldn't say just entry point um, certifications, but also um, very, 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 um, I would say, well outlined and uh, recognized certifications for uh, people even mid-career and even in executive level to have that general sense of uh, understanding around cyber security in general, right? Uh, within my organization, um, there are a lot of, you know, certified ethical actors that are colleagues of mine, um, some of them are my mentees, people that I've coached and express that this is a good path to follow um, and it's widely used to deliver services and to secure our organization so i would say like it's it's well recognized within my organization and that's across the industry as well so ch is really around uh, in, introspecting into offensive security practices um, so how do you think like a bad actor and so you can put the right defenses in place uh, but also helps you to be proactive in identifying indicators of compromise or attacks before they actually materialize into a successful breach. Um, so that's how I use it. 
to think about as I do my job, as I lead my team, organizations, I'm speaking to my business users, educating about what to look out for within the environment. Um, what are some of the signs that would indicate that, you know, someone is being intrusive, someone is scanning the environment and you need to investigate why that is happening. Someone is probing from the outside um, or we're seeing signs of potential uh, scripts within logs that show that potentially there was an intrusion attack of, um, in flight. Um, these are some of the ways I use it, uh, but it's also the part around, you know, there's just a lot of people that generally have a misconception about cybersecurity in general. And the, the balance that CEH provides is not just focused on the technical capabilities, but also the risk informed capabilities. So basically what that means is when, when, when we do our jobs as cybersecurity professionals, sometimes it gets really technical. Being able to interpret the technical aspect of the complex things we're literally trying to assess into simple user stories for business leaders usually is the bridge that helps us achieve the value that we provide from a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so programs like you hear about around um, penetration testing um, that we use to validate controls, programs around um, threat analysis that you use to identify threat actors, profile them, and then basically look through the tactics, techniques, and procedures that are employed to basically meet the objective. Those are some of the very, very relevant daily skills that CH provides that I've been able to use um, and that I'm sure that the industry is using on a continuous basis. Exam many years ago, all right. <laughs> uh, at that time, I think it's between then and now, there's been evolutions of it. But even at that time, the relevant um, part for me that made it very, very um, helpful was, again, the simplicity of how the processes that are employed in meeting an objective as, a, as an ethical hacker was very clear, well organized, uh, but also the journey since to, to getting certified to where I am today is the continuous um, education unit, uh, the encouragement to go to conferences, the encouragement to, to be a part of the cybersecurity community, and most recently um, being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Those are all a packaged value that definitely makes me uh, enjoy the program. So it's not just a, you get a training, you get certified, but it's also you giving back to the community by being um, a trusted steward of cybersecurity principles. So that to me, look, is how the program has stayed relevant to me because it goes just beyond just another technical skill set that you pick up, but also applying that on a continuous basis, connecting with people, educating, sharing knowledge, and all that fun stuff that we should be doing more of. The first step for every attack is a recon phase, a reconnaissance, right? It, it, that's the funnest part for me. But look, like trying to profile an objective or a target um, and understanding the best way to approach to meet your objective, right? Um, that to me was the best part of it, is doing things like dumb stuff diving, which is an old school mentality way of doing stuff, things like, uh, how do I social engineer this person by just watching their common habits? Um, you know, things like how do you scare fish? And to scare fish, identifying the target, understanding their habits and behaviors, so your uh, your targeted email can be successful in the number of click rates. Um, so to me, the first step has been the most fun for me, and you will still remain a favorite, right? because it actually sets the uh, cadence and, and, and also the direction of the subsequent sequences of steps you're going to follow through. So if that first step is not done properly um, around a reconnaissance, uh, it's going to be very difficult for you to achieve your objective. All right. Hey, guys out there listening. Uh, look, this is a great time to get into the cybersecurity field, right? Um, just some quick stats for you, like zero unemployment uh, in this industry, which means there are more jobs than professionals to fill this role. Uh, great job security, uh, great career opportunities, including mobility in different areas in cybersecurity. So what I would say to you guys is, look, look if you want to get into uh, an industry or field that you, you would have a long, successful career, uh, cybersecurity is where you, you need to get into. And more importantly, if you want to get started, uh, CH Certified Ethical Hacking is one of the uh, first 
uh, you should consider as one of the first steps in getting into the field um, and getting yourself situated. But it's, it's, it's a great time to be in cybersecurity. Like I said, I've been in it for about two decades and every moment of it is just uh, challenging as the very first one, but also very rewarding. So, hey, good luck on your career mobility, good luck on your career um, options, and hopefully you have a, a successful career as I'm having right now.